Good afternoon. Here we go with building the Batmobile. Uh, let's see, part three, and uh, this would be phase four. Uh, I got a shipment from Fan Home in phases three, four, and five together, and I wasn't necessarily sure how they would connect. Perhaps you watched the last video in which none of this happened live because it was an after the fact thing. One of the pieces shipped slightly broken. So I did reach out to them. I got great customer service and I thought they were just gonna send the one little piece back uh, so that I could plug it in. Uh, no, they sent me the whole phase again. So it's kind of good because actually that's one with the LED. And in case something doesn't work there, then I have a spare if I need to. Uh, once again, they say it can be done with this one single uh, screwdriver. I have a couple on hand just in case because in phase three, uh, there was a piece where my uh, fingers could not get in, in there. And so my, my wife came in with, the, with one of these smaller uh, screwdrivers, but I'm hoping. Now, phases four and five, or at least four, looks a little simpler. Before I get into that, I keep cutting out uh, part of what happens with these documents. Uh, so in this booklet, there is once again, the summation of an episode from Batman 66, which I appreciate, even though I have the Blu-ray set, got it all. Uh, there is a great Batman comics. Now in phase three, they brought up the case of this chemical syndicate. So they went back to the original. Uh, this one is now Batman year one. So I'm gonna say, if you are looking for these as a guide to where to start with, with Batman comics, it's very good. If you are a Batman fan, you already know this. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. All right, but it does have a nice kind of Batman year by year section. So we're up to 1942 with phase four. So let's get to it. Uh, phase four is very simple. This is reinforcing the windshield with a small support on either side of the part. Now, this is it. This is what the case looks like. I'm gonna pause, open it up, because you don't need to see me go through it like a bear. Uh, yeah, have it open, and what it looks like is, oh no, this won't need uh, a screwdriver at all. It is uh, pretty simple, and I'm kind of laughing at this. Phase three was a little complicated. Phase four is quite simply this. Uh, so we have the hood windshield, and then these little uh, connectors to uh, grab supports. So fitting the left windshield support using the pin on the inside of the left windshield support, part 04B, uh, push this part into the pinhole on the left of the edge, left edge of the front windshield. And so uh, this would be the left, and this would be uh, the supporter here. And uh, yeah, I think, let's see if I'm right. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. No, I did the wrong thing, but I, I get it now. Okay, this is it. This is it. So I think I have the wrong one in place. Here we go. Uh, it really is this simple. Once again, hoo -hoo, I've actually done it out of order. I reinforced the right hand side. And now I take the left hand and uh, there we go. Even without a screwdriver, uh, the result of phase four is done. So that was pretty simple. Ta-da! This could be the shortest video ever. So, so far, this one, no tool necessary at all. Really like that. Okay, we're into phase five. This is gonna get complicated again, but I do like that uh, this now has a little packaging that's more of a bag rather than plastic, uh, you know, the clamshell kind of thing. And uh, I just appreciate that it's got the Batman 66 uh, classic TV series uh, look to it, logo. So lots of little pieces, lots of little screws. This one may be more complicated. So let me take a moment, go through here again with the Batmobile, build the Batmobile guide. Uh, we've got another TV review, episode five, The Joker is Wild. Uh, and then a quick review of The Killing Joke, uh, which I think everybody knows, Batman 43. So how it was in 1943. And that seems a little interesting to me because uh, some of the, these from this year I have not read. I, luckily, because I had that uh, that book in the early 70s, Batman from the 30s to the 70s, uh, that included the first appearance of Alfred, who was very different than the Alfred we all know, um, was uh, really cool. So this is gonna take me through some nostalgia, definitely. But let me pause and lay out all the parts here for this next section, which they refer to as, uh, we're going to Batmobile's engine. Now, 
<coughs> I'm gonna pause. I've had a kind of a cough, and yes, I'm not sponsored by Nespresso. I bought my wife an espresso machine for for Christmas, so it's good for uh, afternoon warmth. The one thing I want to say here, this is phase, five phases, and none of these have actually connected to each other. So that to me is kind of curious, but again, part of it is you got to keep going, right? Until it all starts to come together. Okay, I'm going to lay out a little bit about the packaging before I build through is that the first piece, assembling the bell housing, this is supposed to be connected to this. Ooh, nice heftier uh, metal piece. This is plastic. Uh, each, this was segmented as it came together. And it, as I've mentioned before, they have little bags of clearly labeled screws. Really appreciate that. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll just take section by section. I am wrong that the first thing I need to do is with the FP screws, which are in another section here. So I do have to open up all of it and lay it out together. Uh, that was a little unexpected, uh, but again, maybe just me. Uh, I will stress, of course, that, uh, you know, this is not a paid endorsement one way or the other. This is, yes, they did uh, let me uh, get a free subscription so that I could review this for you. And, and for me, I'm not going to lie, I wanted the Batmobile, but, uh, you know, again, if I could build this, anyone can. And I do see some, I don't want to say necessarily issues. Again, I'm an amateur modeler. It's This is the first time I've tried something like this. But I do see some things where it's not quite as clearly and cleanly laid out as it could be. I'm still kind of happy with the overall experience. I really uh, thought their customer service was fantastic with that broken part. But this may be a challenge. So just be aware and always keep a pretty well laid out, which I don't, I admit, uh, area to build this in. I have a little box off to the side in which I keep each constructed piece. And that way I'd like to see them start connecting together. So maybe I can place them someplace else, feel like it's all coming, but we'll see. Okay, I may not leave in this little bit of what I see as potentially frustrating, getting O5C into O5B, which is the bell housing connector. So it slides in, had a little bit of difficult figuring out exactly. And now uh, I'm supposed to put the screws in to hold it, so here we go. Gotta take off the glasses because I know I need close-up work. Okay, yeah. uh, so far, this first step seems pretty good. Again, we are building pieces of the Batmobile engine. So let me tighten these up. No need this week for the X-Acto knife or craft knife as they called it. Uh, but okay, I think I did this right. Nice. Okay, next piece. Right, the next step is uh, securing the gearbox connector, it is this, uh, to the inside of the bell housing using two DM screws. Now each, again, each screw is labeled in a little baggie, really appreciate, and there's always an extra, which so far so good, haven't necessarily needed, uh, but I'm, I'm again, always glad that it exists. So, whoop. all right, yeah, this is gonna be a little uh, difficult here. By the way, uh, I should say the photos behind me, as I've mentioned before, my brother's, he's currently got a gallery showing in, in Paris. So uh, I don't think he's in the country right now. Yeah, he does art and I do this. So, you know, I and my neighbors and I uh, have both been uh, kind of disappointed this wasn't a life-size Batmobile. But uh, then on the, on the other hand, I don't know if, if uh, we have room on the street to drive it down. But that's one of my favorite uh, Adam West stories, I think was in his book, might have been in Frank Gorshin's, that Frank Gorshin and uh, Adam West on, on the set one day of Batman uh, hopped in the Batmobile, which was drivable, and uh, drove off the lot just to be funny. So could you imagine being that cop who pulled them over? Or couldn't because, guys, it's Batman. So, okay, got the bell housing. Uh, the gearbox connector, rather. And now the end of the bell housing needs to be, I need to put this together using the three CM screws. And let's see if it's is snapping correctly. Am I doing this right? Um, oh, okay, yes it is. I'm 
The problem that I have faced, uh, that I've seen myself doing from time to time here, is feeling like it's supposed to snap in in some way. This is, I guess this really does say how long it's been since I built a model. Uh, because I'm used to Monogram or Revell snap tights from my childhood. I don't think I have built a model as an adult now. I have another one uh, in a cupboard uh, that was a, a recreation of a Haunted Mansion one, uh, The Organist. So it's possible that one day I'll do a video of that and go, <laughs> help me. Uh, so we'll see. Anyway, so I've got that together. It is uh, the CM screws. Let me put the DM back. Um, not that I anticipate needing these screws again, but as we are constantly in a state of fixing up little things around the house, uh, you never know, these might really come in handy. Uh, and so extra bonus, thank you, Fan Home. Uh, CM screws, and uh, so here we go. All right, screws to spare, yes. All right, uh, so. They go here, this is kind of interesting because they look big, or the, the screw holes look big. Oh, oh geez, but that worked. Um, definitely, then I would say it is a good thing that we have uh, a long, small screwdriver because that was having to guess magnetically that I was going straight in and getting this hit to the bottom of something. I mean, this does look right. I am occasionally, and this may just be me, but I'll acknowledge to you too, uh, that <clears throat> they connect, they show you in the, in the graphic by making the piece that you're working on yellow and the screws themselves are red. Well, they're not, obviously, they're gray and, and black, and so having this vague memory of, that was a problem with Lego too. But, uh, so be aware of that, be aware. Uh, so it looks to me like I have the bell housing assembled. Now, preparing the cable, I think this is gonna be simple. Oh no, oh no, it's not. Okay, so here, look, we've got the cable, uh, which tells me you can measure uh, let me put the CMs away first. Um, <coughs> that uh, they're saying you can measure by uh, showing by the, what they've got here uh, a graphic. So at one, the cable has to be uh, one part of it is seventy millimeters and the other is sixty. Well, gang. My, my sidekick here will be showing up with a little with tape because we figured out, okay, we, I happen to have a tape measure uh, that will do millimeters. And uh, I'm not sure where I put the craft knife, so I'm gonna take a little pair of scissors once I measure this out, but we think we're gonna tape this down. <laughs> so understandably, my sidekick did not want to appear on camera, but she did bring out uh, the craft knife because we've been using it uh, for something else in construction in the rest of the house repairs rather and so I have now taken blue tape over this millimeter uh, tape measure and I'm going to then mark and cut here that I can hold it taut I took blue you know I said taped it down got it taut and I have got cut the 70 millimeter okay so now I need to do a 60 millimeter And here's the question that, uh, gonna be honest, my wife very wisely asked, which is, why didn't they just give you two little uh, pieces, but it's so that you have this little extra bit of craft, I suppose. But yeah, that's kind of, um, it does feel like that's, uh, I'm doing more than just having the little screwdriver. Gee, holy bad allergies. Uh, so anyway, now down to, 60, one part is 70, that's 70, and one part would be 60. Luckily, um, no, thoughtfully on their part, they've actually given, oh, they're gonna make me do math. 
it's a it's a little bit of cabling that's 150 millimeters. So even though I'm a former English teacher, I know enough math to know that uh, this is uh, this is still okay. So I'm going to take down the 60 and I'm reminded of really thin uh, red vines, my red licorice. And so here we go. I've got my 70 and my 60. And now I think that then ties to fitting the bell housing cable together. So let me take the blue tape away. Let me get back to, it is this little baggy, tiny little parts. And um, though it doesn't always occur to me to do this normally, I think that the advantage of the video is it reminds me to kind of put the caps back on it and not later slice my hand open trying to clean up after the fact. So <clears throat> we're back. And uh, anything more satisfying than doing that? I didn't think so. Anyway, back in Espresso and fitting the bell housing cable. Uh, take the longer of the two parts of cable and push starter connector A, 05F. This is a tiny thing, okay? So, <clears throat> this little bag, I almost confused it four screws. But they're two little tiny pieces and Starter connector A goes in onto one end. Oh yeah, these are hollow cables. And uh, so, yes, it's gonna be one of those. And let's see. Yeah, let me hold up and see if you can see just how magnificently huge the graph is compared to what the actual piece is. So it's this tiny, I don't know if you can even see this uh, on, on this, but anyway. Uh, longer of the two parts cable and push starter connector A, 05F, into that. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and it's going to take some time uh, because this is, it is delicate, tiny, and let me know if you see my eyes cross on these videos when I'm looking over like this, or as I'd say, impersonating my father because this is what I remember most, just judgment. Okay. Uh, but that's why you're here, right? We're all, you know, like, use the starter connector to push in place on the bell housing plate. Okay. Uh, so that's back to this. Okay, this is all connecting together, and it is... No, 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 guys, I, I don't understand this at all. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 okay, I get it. I get it now. All right. So, it's this little thing. And it plugs into this. Again, may take me a little while. Or not at all. That was very good. Okay, okay. So, ta -da -da -da. and fitting the starter cable, push starter connector B onto one end of the remaining cable. And that was this little tiny one. Oh, five G or do it? No, yeah, okay. Again, Re I hope I did these right. Um, hang on, oh, five G versus, yeah, okay. Now, what do I do with the oh, five G? I put this down. Oh, there it is. Okay, and so I put this into a tube. And push the starter connector, uh, okay, B, onto, oh, you know what, again, I think I might have gotten these reversed. So let me just double check that. Oh, 5 f has an X, hexagonal, supposedly. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's hexagonal. They both kind of are. I hope this is right. Okay, uh, so this goes into starter connector. Uh oh, this is the starter. And it has a little hole in it. <clears throat> and so I go here. Oh, got to reverse it. Doo -doo -doo. But there it is. Okay, so I've got this constructed. Now again, you see, there are two separate parts within this. The previous phase was this, and it shipped all together with 
this with now the replaced piece. So this is phase three, phase four, and phase five. They all came together. These boxes come about a month apart. I think that's been so far. Okay, I got thrown off a little bit, not their part, their fault. I was out of the country when the first box shipped. So I, I got a little behind and then I kind of waited for the replacement piece before I moved on to, I do have the next shipment. Uh, I believe it's six, seven and eight together, or it might be six and seven. Uh, but other than opening up to confirm what it was, I haven't gone deeper. This is where I stopped today because I gotta edit this. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any Fanboy Planet video content. And visit fanboyplanet.com for other features, reviews, interviews, previews, and of course, listening to the Fanboy Planet podcast. And remember, use your powers for good.